everybody, today we're going to talk about computer parts. Let's get started. Mouse. Now the mouse is where you move it and you can move a pointer on the screen which will show on the monitor and you can choose your applications like accordingly and it, it allows you to access and control the programs. The laptop. Now the laptop, you need to know something about the laptop. Laptops, they're called laptops because you can put it on your lap. Desktops, you can't put it on your lap. So you put it on a desk. So be careful, when you see a desktop, don't call it a laptop. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. You need to take care of the laptop. Don't just move it here and there. Just try to make it fixed place and use it in a fixed place, which is much better. Keyboard. Keyboard, which basically has all the letters, all the keys for numbers and letters that you would need to type in your information accordingly. Mouse mat. Cool. Usually some mouse are not, um, some, some of brands, they don't work like really good. So when you use a mat, it will be easier for the mouse pointer to move on the screen. So that's why usually some people use a mouse mat. Do you have one? Monitor. This is the computer TV. That's the monitor. It's a computer TV. So we, you can see everything what's going on in a computer with the monitor. Printer. Printer is basically the machine that copies and gets out papers for you. You can print out your worksheets. Speakers. The speakers are used for making some noise around. Yes, so whenever you want to make something loud and you want everybody to hear that, use the speakers. Now we've got the headphones. Headphones are used on head so you can hear what's going on. Instead of using a speaker, you can just put the headphones on and everybody won't be able to hear anything. The compact disc. Well, this is the CD. We used to use it a lot, but nowadays we're not using it a lot. We replaced it with a USB flash memory, which is a memory stick, and a hard disk, and a hard drive. So basically, this is where you can save some information, games, music, so programs also, depending on your needs. And where do you play it? You play it in a CD-ROM. CD-ROM is the drive where you can read the CDs from. Some computers will be having this drive built in and some computers don't have it. You have to buy it as an external drive. So depending on the device itself, you can use that. You can buy it or not to buy it. Memory stick. This is the USB flash memory I was talking about. We are kind of replacing the CD-ROMs with this product, mm -hmm. which is much easier to carry around. You can erase, delete, add anytime, anywhere in any computer. Network drive. Now this network drive is helpful when connecting computers together over one network. So the computers will be able to be connected and you can see each other with the network drive that looks like this. This is a network cable with a network drive that looks like that. Interactive whiteboard. Like this is kind of a projector transfers a computer screen into this whiteboard and it will help you um, work with and like the, the things will be able to move and you can control what's on the board accordingly. That's what an interactive whiteboard is. Data projector. The projector is a machine that copies what's on the computer screen. It's like a screen but with a light so you can just broadcast or play the projector on a whiteboard, white wall, it will show you what the screen of the computer is showing. CPU, Central Processing Unit. The Central Processing Unit is the main 
part of the computer. The CPU is the brain of the computer, is where all the algorithms, the work, the data, everything is handled and um, controlled from there. A computer without a CPU is not a computer. Wireless router. This machine allows many computers to connect with each other using the internet network. So using this product or this machine, you will be able to be connected over the internet and you will be able to connect more than computers or devices together. Tablet, last but not least, we all have tablets. Tablets are like smartphones and computers at the same time. We use this one-piece mobile computer. They normally have touch screens and you can take them anywhere. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like it. Thank you very much. See you with more videos.